I started in the music industry by pushing gear for country artists at a festival in Colorado. Grew into throwing party, it, grew into throwing, <laughs> it grew into throwing parties on my own that clogged the cul-de-sac in high school and a broken floor in college. For my senior thesis project, I received a $100,000 investment and put a band on tour. It grew into my rail jam event, and later I acquired the Montana Beer Festival and Avalanche. Then came Spruce Moose and Hush Hush. The newest event, Moods of the Madison, uh, got started a couple of years ago. Through the years, I've booked nearly $2 million in entertainment and worked with the likes of Willie Nelson, Buddy Guy, Bass Nectar, Jizz a Genius, and Michael Franti. <laughs> <laughs> Through it all, I learned that the content of events can get dull and shallow quickly. I started to struggle keeping an interest, but held on to the idea that I was great at throwing parties and being the glue plugging people and concepts together. Enter interchange. Exchange is one of our formats that features storytelling and how people found their purpose. Our topics this year included sex ed, renewable energy, LGBT and religious freedom, marijuana, police and community relationships, and veterans. After the story, we opened it up offensively into a moderated dialogue. Here's Bob Devine talking about the marijuana industry, which led to a great dialogue on banking and how the FDIC cannot insure them. The result is an all-cash industry and literally burying money in the backyard. In the lower slide is Police Chief Steve Crawford, and he's participating in a dialogue about body cameras on officers. <clears throat> we include social lubricants like concerts in our format as a shallow end to get broader audiences involved. Nonprofits and causes can have trouble gaining further outreach than their direct constituencies. This offers a fun and engaging draw with awesome social scenes and a follow through to inter interactive educational activities. This is the Remix Runway Show. It's a contemporary style event that features a variety show with entertaining projects from around the region. Presentations included music, dance, fashion, drag, slam poetry, and even a wedding. Food and art vendors, along with bar, a bar featuring breweries, distilleries, came along too. <laughs> we collaborated with the Cottonwood Club on this one for an erotica after party uh, that featured a bring your own art show, music, and a masquerade theme so that attendees could talk about sex with discretion. The Interchange Summit focuses on gray area and problem solving, the fusion between artists, activists, and entrepreneurs. 50 leaders that fit these categories came together and worked towards taking active steps on boilerplate issues. It attracted religion, atheists, nonprofits, for profits, and politics from all sides. In this exercise, participants were asked to close their eyes and take one step backwards if they agreed, and one step forward if they disagreed. I assume that the playing field is level. I assume that the free market is essentially good. After about 20 statements, participants opened their eyes and were paired with the furthest person away from them for a one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> As we built Interchange, our goal was to tell our story in a unique and compelling way. In addition to filming, photography, and interviews, we applied graphic storytelling and illustration this is Alex Alviar, and he, he illustrated our exchange event on the summit. This is my backyard. <laughs> After a mind-draining day, we celebrated at our Boar's Head event. We roasted a 130-pound pig. Uh, we had live music, a bar, cool lounges, and had a great conversation around our s'mores potluck with 50 different toppings for them. Our fiery pit is a 40-ton dump truck rim. Are you partied out yet? <laughs> Me either. <laughs> the Kiki Garden Party is a Kentucky Derby style brunch that pays tribute to the festival. Featuring large hats, bow ties, and gospel music, mimosas, and brunch to digest the weekend. By the way, Kiki means gossip party. Branding is a really big part of this. This is the first year we did Interchange uh, in 2013. After all, I even struggle explaining what it is. From posters to tickets, social media, web graphics, on-air campaigns, and on-site, our branding needs to be authentic, thoughtful, and thorough. We have a fully integrated website that hosts a variety of content, from current news articles, event updates, photos, sponsor features, and a widget that gives a live stream on our main page 
when a person when a person hashtags I am interchange on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. <clears throat> this is Michelle Wolf and the Unicorn Horn and Chris Griffin from uh, the Moose Morning Show and KMMS AM. They featured our exchange speakers and they co-hosted the morning shows during the week of the event. Each day a different topic was discussed in depth, live on air with musical breaks. Last year, we challenged MSU's senior design class to come up with social campaigns that they cared about. This is a condensed few of about 30 different projects. American Maid, Evelyn the Engineer, Gender Equality, who doesn't want a bike chain like that? We made them into our social media campaign. Here's a few more from women's rights to racism to veterans. Did you know that nearly 307,000 veterans may have died awaiting the VA's health care? Or that 23 suicides per day? Comparing that to the 6,200 soldiers who have died in combat since 2001. I describe my work <laughs> as developing social adhesives and spending a lot of time in gray area. Interchange is my most successful failure that was inspired by falling in love with my straight best friend and business partner. Having a lapse in communication, he quit the company a week before the first interchange had ever happened, my experiential remix. This is Tate and Nicholas Conlin, the two gentlemen, gentlemen that agreed to let me marry him as the finale of the remix runway show. With an audience of about 500, we anxiously took the stage and went through with it. I had to convince one of them that he didn't need to bring a gun for protection. <laughs> There's still work to be done. I'm Tate Chamberlain, and I'm here to recruit you. <laughs> 